Hi, you've clicked on to today's Tropical Tibet for Tuesday, August 28th, and we have uh, Isaac here in the North Gulf of Mexico moving towards Louisiana, and as of the 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time NHC advisory, this is still not a hurricane, not exactly sure why, but as we're looking at this here, you can see it's still struggling with some dry air. The eye wall is not closed, uh, but there are winds increasing and pressure falling with this, and this is going to have hurricane force winds at landfall, and uh, the big problem with this is going to be the slow movement with heavy rainfall and storm surge, which we'll see on the NHC track in a second. Uh, but it looks like the circulation just hasn't been able to mix out the dry air. The reason it has been strengthening gradually over the last 48 hours is because of the amazing outflow and upper level pattern above the storm allowing air to leave through the top and the pressure is falling. So this is strengthening upon landfall and this will be one of the first strengthening hurricanes at landfall that we've seen in a little while on United States soil. Usually they're weakening coming into the Gulf Coast it seems lately. This one is strengthening. Here's the recon observations for the last little while. The blue line here is the flat level winds. The red line is the sea level pressure. And you can see here on the scale to the right, we had 85 knot flight level winds showing up on a couple of passes through the northeastern eye wall. And then we tanked down here. And you can see it's getting down close to 975 millibar pressures showing up in the eye. And you can see that going forward in time here, the pressure is falling between the last two passes. And this is still strengthening. And why 85? Not flight level winds do not support a hurricane, I'm not sure. Even taking off 20%, the full reduction for an estimate at the surface from flight level, you still get 68 knot winds, which are well above hurricane force. There was a drop sound observation directly at the surface of 70 knot winds, which supports hurricane status. The NHC has decided not to upgrade. I really don't know why, but hurricane warnings are out for the coast, and this will be strengthening. And the problem with this is you can see the flight level winds going up. As these strengthen here, when the storm comes ashore, turbulent mixing due to the friction of the surface and collapsing thunderstorms due to no support from the ocean cause these winds to come down towards the surface. And we see this a lot where the winds suddenly burst right on shore, and the coastline is going to get upper category one to lower end category two possibly winds coming down from the from aloft and hitting the surface and even if the the SFMR instrument isn't measuring surface winds now they're definitely going to be there on the coastline so there's going to be hurricane conditions with this as it comes ashore here's the radar loop right now and again I'll probably have to refresh this so it actually loops my graphics card doesn't like it but here we are you can see the center right about here notice the dry air showing up uh, keeping the eye wall open right now. So this is a rather ragged center. This is good news because this could have easily become a major hurricane at this point if dry air was not fully integrated into its large circulation. It's its size that did itself in, but it is still strengthening. This is a 975 millibar hurricane, typical of an upper end Cat 1 or Cat 2 of most storms. It just needs to get the winds up there a little bit more. It's wobbling a little. You can see a little bit of a wobble west-northwest this morning, so this is probably going to take it west of the mouth of the Mississippi River now as it comes into to Louisiana. The problem with this is it's coming in west of here, which means it's piling in the water on the eastern side. And of course, this is going to be nothing compared to Katrina. But with a slow moving storm, the storm surge is going to be larger than you would expect with a Category 1 hurricane. And of course, with all the rain that's going to be falling on top of this, there's going to be a lot of flooding problems. And uh, New Orleans will be the biggest city hit by this, along with everyone in the general area of southern Mississippi and southeast Louisiana. And this is, again, a large storm. Tropical storm conditions could be felt as far east as Mobile and as far west as western portions of Louisiana. So this is a large storm with large scale impacts. This is the NHC track this morning. I didn't bother making a track because you don't really need to at this point. You can see where it is now. Still a tropical storm down here, though really it's got a lot of hurricane conditions with it already. This They're still forecasting a hurricane at landfall, strengthening into category category 1 and I still hold that this will have near upper end category 1 winds at landfall could even have minimal cat 2 winds with it even if it's not officially called a cat 2 uh, but we'll have to see how that goes as this comes into the coast you can see it's slow movement these 
forecast points are 12 hours apart. You can see it takes a full 48 hours to get through the state of Louisiana. And given its size, this is going to be a full 48 hour period of rainfall for these regions here along the coastline. And there's going to be a lot of flooding potential with this. The HPC uh, precipitation map for the next five days shows a maximum of a foot and a half of rain showing up just east of New Orleans here. Everything on in yellow on this map is over 10 inches of rain. And this is going to be a big problem. And folks should uh, take their guard down on this. The wind may not be the biggest issue with this system, but rainfall definitely will be. So this is going to be known po probably for its flooding potential. And then you'll see it comes up into the center of the country and brings some rain to the areas that I believe needed up here. This, should, this I believe, is a drought-stricken area and is going to like this rain as this curves north and eventually recurves off to the northeast. So overall, this is a strengthening, will be a strengthening hurricane upon landfall. Not officially a hurricane yet, but it is getting there. Uh, it continues to strengthen, and although it looks ragged on satellite, this is definitely a beast and will be bringing nasty weather ashore. Hopefully folks are prepared for this, and uh, it'll be making landfall tonight. 12 to 24 hours from now, it'll be on shore. So we shall see what happens. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.